Hello viewers, welcome back to Drawing Stuff with Paul Yeisman. I decided on a Christmas art challenge where between the 12th and the 25th of December I'm drawing something related to Christmas in some way. Today here is the mostly time-lapse recording of me drawing something inspired by a Muppets Christmas Carol. I will be drawing four Muppets being a rat, beaker, the scientist Bunsen Honeydew and Gonzo. Starting out, I take my time sketching out the forms of Beaker and Dr. Honeydew using, for a change, my 0.7 mechanical HB pencil. I fix up the height of Beaker's head and also the placement of Dr. Honeydew as I go along. With the rat and gonzo, I skimp on the underlying forms and just draw the characters. That was easy for the rat, a bit more difficult with gonzo. Finally, I add some apples for gonzo to look at. I use my mid-range fine liner for the initial line art and add fine liner to everything, correcting some things I did not like in the pencil and wrecking others with a bit of an unsteady hand. I don't worry too much about the dark areas at this stage, with the only blackout areas being the pupils, the rat's nose, honeydew's mouth, and the shadow behind his neck. At this point, I add a framing box and then go in with a thicker fine liner and add to the elements meant to stand out or that are in front of other elements. So trying to think, keep the furthest elements away, still light, and the ones in front darker. Here is the part where I erase the graphite and scan the line art and get ready for adding colour with my Copic markers. I start out with the plan to colour one character at a time, but that went off the rails as I went right into using one colour at a time and then wound up adding a lot of shadow once I got to the grey. I was trying to ease into Beaker's colour so he looks a bit mangled until later. As I went through the colouring, I added a lot of layers of ink, adding light tones and slowly moving to darker ones. And I think that's why the drawing took over an hour in real time to do, which is probably excessive for the final output. The pink finishes Beaker's skin and then I move into his red scarf. Once his clothing is done, Honeydew gets an acid green, which is the closest I have to that melon's colour. I was not sure how to approach his Chet clothing, though my random sort of colour application seems to have worked out in the end, so yay there. Finally, I moved to Gonzo's clothing and he gets a lot of brown like everything else. For his fur and beak, I really wanted to ease into the colours as I did not want to make him too dark. Erring on the side of caution has made him too light, I think. My apple colouring is creative with the greens and reds and lots of whites trying to show they are half ripe but shiny. Once they are done, it gets the thumbs up of approval. Looking at the finished piece, I think the rat came out the best, probably because he's the simplest. Beaker looks suitably deranged, though that was a win. Honeydew seems to be missing an arm and Gonzo is too bright. Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you have been watching How to Draw Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Merry Christmas. See you later.